In this video, I am going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password in Geo XOW407 Wi-Fi router. First, we need to log in the router using web browser. You can use the description box for getting the default username and password. Here, I am entering the username and password. For changing the wireless details, go to network, then wireless. Here we are able to change the wireless settings. For changing the wireless name and wireless password, we need to select profiles. Then we are able to see the existing Wi-Fi name. If you want to change the wireless name or if you want to add one more wireless name, we are able to do the wireless SSID from here. For changing the wireless settings, select the wireless which we want to edit. Then press the right click, then edit. From here, you are able to change the wireless name and wireless password. SSID means your wireless name and you can see the WPA password. Here you can change the password. Once after changing the settings, you need to press the save button. If you are already connected with the same Wi-Fi, your connection will lose. Once after you need to connect with the new Wi-Fi name and new password. Now I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding in Geo Fiber Wi-Fi router. For this purpose, we need to select security, then firewall. Here we are able to see the port forwarding. Once you press the port forwarding, you will get option to add new port forwarding. For adding the port forwarding, you need to press add new, add new button. Then in the services, you can see only the selected services. That means selected ports only. If you want to use any custom ports, you need to use the custom services then need to add new custom service here i am entering rdp for example in that list we are unable to see the rdp so i am adding the rdp here instead of rdp forwarding if you are having any other service you can use that then enter the name of custom port then select the protocol type here we are able to see tcp and udp for the rdp we need to use tcp then enter the port type. If you want to enter single port individually, you can use multiple ports. If you want to use a range of port, you can use port range. Here I am entering the port. Then press the save button. Now our custom port is already added. Once after we need to back port forwarding. Then press the add port forwarding. Here we need to select the action allow always. Then select the service which we already added. Then enter the source IP address. In this case, we need to use any or single or specific type. Our case, we need to use any. Then enter the destination IP address of the internal server. Then enter the internal port type. We need to use single. If it is single, we need to use single. If it is a port range, we can select port range. So if you selecting port range, we can enter the internal port and the length of port. For example, if you are using 80802-8089, we need to enter the internal port starting with the 8080. Then length of the port is 10. Like. Then press the save button. Now the port forwarding is added. If you want to delete or edit the configuration, you can press the right click on selected policy, then press the edit or delete option. If it is editing, we need to save the settings once after. Here I am deleting the configuration. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.